Welcome to the Vuzik Podcast, video number 13. Let's take a look at the Groove Sequencer on Vuzik Station version 6. First thing I'm going to do is load a preset from Channel Soundworks. I'm going to load a LED sound. And I'm going to change a bit the glide. I'm going to use the automatic glide. So it only glides when I hold two notes. Pretty simple glide. So I'm going to go to the groove sequencer. And I'm going to click on, on the first lane to select my mode. I'm going to select note mode. And I'm going to select the MIDI channel 1. So I have note mode, MIDI channel 1. I'm going to activate all steps. And I'm going to use remote edit so I can enter the notes with my MIDI keyboard instead. And I can right click on the remote edit to select auto step. So it steps when I press my MIDI keys. So I can click play. And uh, if I want to slide some notes, I can use the slide option by clicking with the right button, select step slide. also copy this pattern but uh, let me add a few things first so I have my glide here on these steps and I want to add a kick drum but I'm going to use another instance of music stage so I'm going to use MIDI channel 1 but instead I'm going to use MIDI out so it's not going to send this MIDI information to this instance it's going to send to the next instance I'm loading here at the left area so my first instance hold the groove sequencer and the LED sound. And here on the on my second instance I'm going to add a, a kick sound. So I'm going to use just a poor sound waveform and I'm going to alter it a bit with some envelopes to the pitch frequency. And here on my first one I'm going to add Pretty simple. Another channel, but just to check here channel one first. So this layer on the second instance is going to respond only to channel one. Then I can I can use another channel here, maybe channel two, without enabled, for some hi hat sounds. So I'm going to come here, activate layer 2, load the poor sine waveform. No, for the hi-hat I'm going to use the analog noise. And I can just filter it a bit. And I'm going to continue this on the next video to show you a bit more how to, to work with these layers. <laughs> So let's continue on the next video.